Hi, this is Joel from JK Outdoors. Today I want to talk about my uh, my deer hunting stand locations because I got my travel corridor done now and it's already 50 to 75 yards down the lane or down the hillside. Right here is really thick where the bedding starts which I don't really want to put a stand right in this location because I think it's too close. So what I'm doing is working my way out to that peak that goes out this way and I did find a couple of really nice deer stands to put my uh, stands in so what I was looking for is a cluster of trees some in front because we get the east sun that comes up in the morning and this is going to be mornings only so I wanted something in front of me so I could keep the sun out of my eyes and make sure the deer don't look up and see a big old spotlight on me to make sure they don't see my silhouette so that's the reason why I'm actually setting up with some trees in front of me that are quite high and then some background because I don't want them to come up the hill and skyline me either so I have to find some backing something that'll cover my silhouette that's the main thing it's the first thing I look for when I'm doing these travel corridors now um, I took this corridor all the way to the almost the end of the north line and um, I found another trail that went up and down to the east and the west up the hill to the uh, up the south hill so um, there was quite a few of them besides my regular travel that goes up from my food plots water and out you know out towards the egg fields so what I did was I found the last one that I wanted to go to and I just kind of incorporated it into that deer trail to stay on my land to make sure that they're actually using my property. So I just kind of hooked it around on the north side and made sure that they stay on my land. If they go off I can't do nothing about it but the reason why I wanted to use this in the morning is because the bucks will come up on this ridge like I said a military ridge and they'll cruise it and they'll cross trail all these doe trails well the buck is thinking that once it gets past the food source and the water and whatever and puts they think it's their does to bed he gets up at nine o'clock and he starts cruising cross trailing and this is during the rut that's when it happens so he'll start cross trailing and before you know it you got some other bucks doing it and then he's coming into this area and that's how the fights begin so that's during the rut and I'm hoping they use this to cross trail and I'll have a stand waiting for them on the other side and hopefully it works out really well so the rut time or just the morning and I go back to just the morning stand is because um, my thermal currents and um, as that works in the morning my heat from my body will rise then didn't just get pushed out with a southwest wind. So um, I'm watching that for the morning. Now at night my thermal currents will go down. They'll want to draw all my scent down and they'll try to draw it down into the crick bottom and I don't want that. That's why I will not use the stand at night because it'll actually, right now I'm kind of on a bench but it really drops off right here. So I don't want to use this spot at night at all. It's travel corridor, now it's done. I'll have to check it one more time this summer yet. And hopefully nothing really fell into it where I have to just knock out trees and we'll see if they're actually going to use it, which I think they will. They're definitely, I think they will use it. So, because, you know, I got destinations on both sides. I'm not just putting this cross trail to nowhere. They're going to have to have a water source or a food source. You know, they're not going to travel for nothing. So, especially a buck. When he gets up and browses like four or five times a day up in here, he'll want a destination to go to. So, um, I'm definitely making a water source at the end. Even though they have the creek bottom, I'm definitely making a water source closer to the deer stand setup on the west side so I can sneak up. My um, entryway coming up will be near the crick and the crick does make a lot of noise I can actually get to my stand without making a huge amount of noise into the bedding in the early early morning hopefully they're out further though and they're just coming in and I'll be in my stand hopefully so I hope that all works out 